little moment, I'm going to teach you how to witness to a child by using the wordless book colors. This is Caroline, my friend, and we're going to show you how to present the gospel in a way that Caroline will clearly understand it. Caroline, what does the color yellow make you think of? Um, jewelry. Jewelry. It makes me think of jewelry, too. One of my favorite kinds of jewelry is gold jewelry. Now, the Bible tells us there is a place where there is a street of gold. Have you ever seen a street of gold before? No. I haven't either, but the Bible tells us a place called heaven has a street of gold. Heaven is a perfect place because God lives in heaven. And the Bible tells us that God is perfect and holy. Now, that doesn't mean that God has holes in him. Perfect and holy means that God has never done anything wrong. And God loves you so much. The Bible tells us that God is your creator. God made the mountains, the flowers, the trees. He made all the animals. But his most special and favorite creation is you. God created you in his image. And God lives in a perfect place. But there is one thing that can never be in heaven. What do you think that one thing is? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Well, the Bible tells us one thing that can never be in heaven is sin. And that brings us to this dark heart right here. The Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that doesn't mean just the boys have sinned or just the adults have sinned. That means that everybody has sinned. Caroline, the Bible says that you were born with a sinful want to. And the Bible tells us that sin is anything that we think, say, or do that makes God unhappy. Now, Caroline, did your dad ever sit you down and say, Today, I'm going to teach you how to lie to me? No. No? Did your mom ever sit you down and say, Today, I'm going to teach you how to cheat on a test? No. No. <laughs> the Bible says that you were born with a sinful want to. You were born knowing how to do wrong things. And because you've done wrong things, the Bible says that you have sinned. And sin can never be in heaven. And that is a huge, huge problem. And there's nothing you can do on your own to fix that problem. But the Bible says that God made a way for us. God sent his son, Jesus. And the Bible tells us that Jesus came to earth as a tiny little baby. But there was one thing different about him from everyone else. The Bible tells us that Jesus was the Son of God. He never did anything that made his father unhappy, and he lived a perfect life. But one day when he was about 33 years old, some very wicked men took Jesus, and they put nails in his hands and in his feet, and they nailed him on a cross. Now when they nailed him on a cross, Caroline, what do you think came out of him when they put nails in him? Um... Not sure. You're not sure? Well, the Bible tells us that blood came out. And when Jesus was bleeding on that cross, he did it for each of us. Because the Bible tells us he did not want us to have to live in separation from God. He didn't want us to live in our sin. And when Jesus was on the cross, the Bible tells us that he died. But something amazing happened three days later. The Bible says that three days after he died, he came back to life. See, when Jesus had died, the Bible tells us that his body was placed in a tomb, which was like a humongous cave. But like I said, three days later, the tomb was empty and Jesus had come back to life. And many, many people saw Jesus. And because Jesus came back to life, he defeated death. He made a way for you so that one day you can live with God in heaven. Jesus is the only one who could have died on the cross because his perfect blood it covers all of our sins. And when His perfect blood covers our sins, God can give us a new heart. God can take away the dark heart of sin, and He can give us a new, clean heart, just like this picture. When God gives us a new, clean heart, this new, clean heart, it means that we're able to be with God one day, forever in heaven. And the Bible tells us that God wants us to become His child. It tells us that when we admit to God that we're a sinner, and when we believe that Jesus Christ was God's Son and that His death and resurrection are the only way we can be saved, we then can call on God to save us from our sins. And the Bible tells us that that answer will always be yes. Caroline, is that something you would like to do today? Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, this wraps up our devotional moment for the day. But I would then ask Caroline if she would like to pray. And she can say a prayer from her heart. Or if Caroline is kind of confused about what to say, I can help her. And it's always great to have your Bible out with you and have verses marked too so that you can show a child from God's Word the truth on how they can be saved. Mm -hmm.